In this video, I am going to show you how to do the port forwarding and DMS set configuration in TP-Link TLR480 T plus load balancing router. For this purpose, we need to log in with router IP. For finding the IP, we can use the network interface and find the default gateway of network interface. Here we can see the default gateway IP address is 192.168.0.1. Enter the IP address in web browser. Here I am logging the router with a username and password. Username and password will be created while on the configuration time. We, are, we need to verify whether we have enabled the multiple VANs. If we are having multiple VAN with the public IP address, we are able to do the multiple port forwarding configurations. For port forwarding, we need to select transmission, then press the NAT. Here you can see multiple options. For doing the port forwarding, we need to select the virtual server. Then enter the name of virtual server. If you want to select the multiple VAN, we can select multiple VAN. Here I am choosing only one VAN. Then enter the external port and internal port. Then enter the internal server IP address. Once after, you can select the protocol. If you are using TCP, you can select TCP. If it is UDP protocol you are forwarding, you need to select UDP only. Otherwise, you can use all options for TCP and UDP port forwarding. Then, status, we need to enable the checkbox. If it is disabled, the port forwarding will not work. Then press the OK button. Now, our configuration has been finished. Different servers with the same ports, you can do the WAN 1 for first server and WAN 2 for second server because this is a multi WAN router so it will work both. If you want to edit that one, you are able to see the editing option. You can press the edit and you can modify the settings. If you want to delete this one, you can simply press the delete button. The same configuration we can select multiple WAN interface and you can do the port forwarding. Now we can check how to do the DMS at configuration. For this purpose, we need to select NAT DMS at function in transmission. Here we need to press the add button, then enter the name. I enter my server then select the WAN interfaces if you want to select multiple WAN interfaces we can select multiple WAN otherwise we can select separately then enter the host IP address internal server IP address then then enable the status checkbox then press the OK button if you want to edit that one you are able to see the editing option you can press the edit and you can modify the settings if you want to delete this one, you can simply press the delete button. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.